very good evening. Thank you for joining us here watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned home yesterday after attending the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and the leader of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, achieved third place and first at the level of Arab horsemen in the championship. Upon arrival in Bahrain, His Majesty the King was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Bahrain Defense Force at General Command. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr al Naimi, Commander of the Royal Guard Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officers. During the visit, the results and success of last year's training programs have been discussed, in addition to a preparation for the coming phase of of developing training methods in line with modern scientific and practical capabilities so as to further improve the performance of BDF affiliates. His Majesty the King commended the outstanding efforts in dealing with advanced training programs so as to perform their noble duty to protect the country and its development march in addition to its national unity. He also called for the continuation of coordination and cooperation with friendly and brotherly countries in service of good and peace. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the Noble national efforts of all BDF affiliates, wishing them further success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses discussed the positive outcomes of the government's form of 2016 that supports the government's efforts to continue the march of development to the kingdom and strategies to provide a high living standards for citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the form and hailed his initiatives in the optimal utilization of human resources in order to improve the government's services and its productivity. The Royal Highnesses also discussed topics on regional and international concerns and stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation and coordination on an international level. They also praised the diplomatic march in the kingdom led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and its efforts to enhance cooperation with other countries in spite of the security and economic challenges on the regional and international levels. They affirmed that the purpose of achieving developments and improvements in Bahrain is to achieve aspirations of the people of Bahrain. Their Royal Highnesses then hailed the achievements of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and the leader of Bahrain Endurance Team, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on winning the third place globally and the first in the Arab world in the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia. They hailed the several accomplishments made by His Honor Sheikh Nasser and his efforts in enhancing Bahrain's position internationally in the field of sports. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Qudaybiyah Palace today Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mulla, Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and a number of MPs and senior state officials in presence of a former Representative Speaker Khalifa Al Dahrani. His Royal Highness hailed the patriotic stances of the Legislative Authority in defending the Kingdom and faced all attempts aiming to undermine its political and human rights achievements. He highlighted the progress witnessed in the GCC despite all challenges and called all GCC countries to be more aware against all attempts aiming to threaten the security and stability of the countries. He added that the problems and migration witnessed in several countries are results of inside wars and conflicts and the international communities should cooperate to solve these problems and achieve security and peace for these countries and their people. He also stressed the need to enhance joint Arab action to overcome all challenges. His Royal Highness affirmed the continued government development and stress the need for further performance evaluation to achieve the government and citizens' aspirations and further prosperity and progress. His Royal Highness said that the Representatives Council represents the people of Bahrain and that it is important to communicate and coordinate with the Council in order to provide the suitable environment for citizens. He affirmed the importance of the cooperation between the executive and the legislative authorities in maintaining the Kingdom's gains and achievements in all levels. He affirmed the government's keenness 
is to cooperate and coordinate with officials in order to achieve progress in all fields. He also stressed that all Bahrainis should cooperate and unite to maintain the gains of the country, especially under the threats and challenges targeting the nation. His Royal Highness then praised the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the success and facilitation of the Hajj season.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired at Gdabiya Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. He commended the outcomes of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to Russia and his talks with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Prime Minister then presented the council with outcomes of His Majesty's visit to Turkey and Russia. His Royal Highness commended the results of the first government forum and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to organize the forum. He directed to employ the results of the forum to further enhance the performance of the government on the level of services and investments to provide higher living standards for citizens and facilitate investment in the kingdom. He welcomed the returning Hajj pilgrims, wishing them health and prosperity. His Royal Highness congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the successful hosting of the Hajj pilgrimage, commending the enormous efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Saudi Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Minister of Interior and Hajj Central Committee Chairman, Prince Mohammed bin Naif Al Saud, and Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. His Royal Highness ordered government authorities to increase the number of visits to villages and cities and to send specialized teams to study their needs in order to improve their facilities such as schools, health centers, as well as municipal and housing services. He urged speedy action regarding ramshackle buildings, particularly in Muharraq and Manama, through the Ministry of Works and Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning's Urban Development Program. The Cabinet approved the development of a new system called the Flexible Work Permit issued by the Labour Market Regularity Authority. They approved a draft law amending some laws of Bahrain Central Bank and monetary institutions under Law 64 of 2006. In support of ISKCON's bank's implementation of its future strategies and its role in providing housing services, the Council approved ISKCON Bank's Board of Directors' decision to refinance a 100 million Bahraini dinars loan to provide a housing loan and finance housing projects. The Cabinet approved to restructure the Ministry of Labour and Social Development and to adopt a new organizational structure after merging the two authorities. They also approved amending, examining and labelling fees of precious metals in the Precious Metals and Gem Testing Directorate under the Ministry of Commerce and Tourism. They approved to refer the project regarding amending some provisions of Law 18 of 2006 from the Representatives' Council to the Legislative Authority. And finally, the Cabinet discussed four suggestions by the Representatives' Councils regarding agricultural education in public schools, compensating those who suffered from damage due to rainfall, an administrative body regarding litigation and reconstruction requirements in old areas. His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of achieving third place in the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia and topping the Arabs competitors list. His Royal Highness stressed that this achievement is a result of Sheikh Nasser efforts in leading Bahrain's equestrian team. He added that such victory proves that Bahraini youth can achieve great results and highlight the kingdom's name in regional and international levels. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, has sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. She expressed admiration for His Royal Highness's the Crown Prince's initiative to launch the first government forum 2016, held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and attended by His Royal Highness Crown Prince, whose participation she said enriched the event. His Royal Highness, Prince, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika hailed the government's form, which she described as a major national platform that brought together government executives from all levels to evaluate the national achievements and determine the challenges in order to implement the economic vision of 2030, which is built upon the principles of suitability, competitiveness and fairness being the pillars of the national development and aiming to develop the Bahraini citizens in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. 
She expressed sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the outstanding success of the government forum, which she considered as a quantum leap in the government's work management to ensure the constant follow-up on the implementation of the Bahrain Economic Vision and highlight its results, which reflected directly on the national economy. The forum was also a proof of the ability to face challenges and adapt them to ensure the continuity and stability of national action for the best interest of the citizens' social welfare and social stability. She affirmed the SCW's unwavering efforts to support the work of all state institutions, including the government, which she said is playing its commendable role in integrating the Bahraini women's needs in the development process. The SCW president valued highly His Royal Highness Crown Prince's close follow-up and clear directives to ensure that the government's action plan is based on equal opportunities to enable Bahraini women to reach the status they deserve. She wished to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince further success in bringing about more gains to ensure promising and bright future to the kingdom. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa participated in the contemporary meeting of the GCC Ministerial Council's 140th session, which was held yesterday at the headquarters of the permanent delegation of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the United Nations in New York. The meeting congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on the success of this year's pilgrimage season and appreciated the huge efforts and substantial facilities put by the custodian of the two holy mosques, the Saudi government and the Saudi people at the disposal of the pilgrims, Umrah performers and visitors of the holy places. It condemned Iran for its attempts to politicize Hajj and exploit it in affronting Saudi Arabia, calling on the Iranian officials to refrain from such allegations and attitudes. On the other hand, the meeting praised the efforts exerted by the security agencies of Bahrain in thwarting the terrorist plots and managing to arrest members of the terrorist organizations backed by the terrorists of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards and Hezbollah. They held Iran responsible of sponsoring terrorist acts in Bahrain by supporting the terrorists, training them in smuggling weapons and explosives into the kingdom in addition to fueling sectarian strife and issuing statements at various levels to disturb security, order and stability. The Council stressed the firm position of the GCC states in renunciation of terrorism and extremism and the rejection of all its forms and manifestations regardless of the motives, justifications or sources and called for concerted efforts to dry the sources of its financing. Meanwhile, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited Amna bint Wahab Elementary Girls School, where he presented the school with the Quality of Education Award awarded from the government forum. He conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as they both commended the school for its outstanding achievement. The minister affirmed that this achievement reflects the support provided from the wise leadership to the education in the kingdom. He pointed out that the school performance development project that the ministry has been implementing since 2008 has helped enhance the quality of educational services. He commended the efforts of the school principal, Bedriya Swaila, and affirmed that the ministry will continue to implement programs and projects in order to achieve further progress. For her part, Swaila expressed thanks and appreciation for this honoring, affirming that the support of the education Education Ministry helped in accomplishing this achievement. The students of the school then expressed thanks and appreciation for the wise leadership support, affirming their keenness to exert more efforts in order to achieve further progress. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the attendance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first government forum was inaugurated yesterday, another step in improving the life of Bahraini citizens. Sarah al Break reports. The Government Forum 2016 opening ceremony took place under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the attendance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. We are civil servants, so we are supposed to be serving the citizen. Being able to communicate properly on all levels with all our colleagues in different ministries, cross boundaries, would definitely enable you, first, to serve well the citizen, second, 
to think out of your box, to think what are the things that I can really compete against my own colleagues. But at the same time, this is a major challenge for us because now it is said clearly that this is the direction. The question is, what are we going to do? What are the initiatives, innovative thinking, leadership, thought leadership that we are going to take forward to do the simple thing needed from any civil servant is to serve the citizens. The main topics under which the discussions took place were Bahrain's Vision 2030 and its achievements, how the private sector drives national growth, sustainability and advancing the infrastructure, augmenting public services innovatively, and what the government's priorities are and what Bahrain's next phase of developments will be. Coming in such a forum and coming as a gathering for the government, it's, it's really something which is like an incentives. And, and, and it will be... Um, uh, it will gather our, mainly our power, it will gather our optimism mainly to do more and more for Ministry of Health. This is the first one and I think that will accelerate our project, it will accelerate our process on, on mainly improving, the, improving all the healthcare sector in Bahrain. How could we uh, manage to have a good project, uh, involve all, all, all the concerns that I say as doctors, nursing and allied health. And thanks God that is very successful that when we started we, 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 we found that it's really an added value, it's, it's improving the results and the numbers of patients that will be need for antibiotic, the number of use of such antibiotics, and even the budget which is allocated for the antibiotics, it's also reduced. So it's really an added value for us, and we are very proud about having such a project for, for, for Ministry of Health. The government form is the first of its kind in the kingdom and brings together ministers and officials from all the government sectors in order to explore ways to deliver and improve the economy and the citizens' lives and well-being. Some individuals were at the opening ceremony but could not be a part of the discussions and are still enthusiastic about its outcome. This forum is such a golden opportunity uh, for me especially and my colleagues uh, in the legislative authority um, to work and to coordinate uh, in a more cooperative manner with the executive authority. Uh, it's a great idea to have this kind of a forum, uh, to be aware as to where what we have achieved, where we have reached uh, since the Economic Vision 2030 was launched. The Economic Vision, for those who may not be aware, it is to deal with the, um, the actual um, action plan, how to bring about uh, a betterness uh, into the economic growth of our country and in the life of the citizen and of course it is uh, based on three main principles and those are of sustainability, competitiveness and fairness. The government forum brings together the brightest minds that come together to think about how to ease the citizen's life. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain 55.